Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, today video will be on how to open a bank account in the UK. This video will answer a few questions like, why do you have to open a bank account in the UK? How do you open it? What documents are required? How long does it take to open? New and interesting banking features in the UK. Firstly, why do you need a bank account? So when you first come to the UK, I'm sure most of you will bring UK currency and a Forex card with you. However, carrying cash is not at all a safe option and also coming to Forex card, I'm sure your bank charges you some amount of money for money withdrawals. Therefore, these methods are always temporary and you will definitely need a bank account where you can use it in two ways while receiving money. One. If your parents are sending you money from your country to when your part-time job employer pays you the wage. Also, mostly international students pay their tuition fees in installment, which is called recurring card payments here. So uh, it means the university will directly debit money from your account every month until the sum is finished instead of your parents sending tuition fees to the university once in a while. Also, you can pay your accommodation charges with your bank card. And the last thing is, I already mentioned it in my previous video that you need to have a bank account to do your part-time job. If you haven't watched my previous video, I'll link it here. Please go and check it out. Okay, so now the next question is, how do you open it? And what are the documents required? And how long it takes to open a bank account? First, we need to choose a bank. So these are the popular banks in the UK. HSBC, Bank of Scotland, Berkeley's, Royal Bank of Scotland, TSB and Monzo. In Edinburgh, most of the international student bank with HSBC, Bank of Scotland, Berkeley's and Monzo. Almost all the banks follow the same procedure. I personally bank with HSBC. So now I'll explain how I opened my account when I first came here. Firstly, we need to book an appointment by going to the branch or through online. All bank offers an online appointment but booking an appointment to open a bank account the same in every bank except for digital banks like Monzo. Okay so on your appointment day you need to take few documents like your BRP, passport and the university letter which states that you are their student and also contains your UK address which is mandatory. Then they'll scan few of your documents and then they'll ask you to fill few application and that's it. Account will be opened and your debit card will be posted to your address within seven working days. They won't be any requirement to maintain minimum balance. Few banks here also offers uh, an overdraft option which means the bank lends you some money if you don't have any money in your account which you have to pay later. Coming to Berkeley's bank, it's a very good bank uh, but you know it's, it's a bit hard to get an appointment early. Uh, I didn't get it that's why I didn't open an account in Berkeley's but if you get an appointment please go for it. Lastly in this section before talking about Monzo, I want to talk a little bit about the banking system here. Trust me guys, uh, some Indian banking features are far more advanced than UK's. For instance, in India, as soon as we make a transaction, you're gonna get a text message. But here, we don't get a text at all. And even if you wanna check your transactions in your mobile app, it will be only updated after two days. So now what is the solution? Here comes the digital banks. One of the digital bank is Monzo. So Monzo Bank works in an entirely different mechanism to open an account in Monzo. You don't need to follow the entire process which I mentioned before. So Monzo is completely digital. You need to uh, install the app from either Play Store or App Store and then you need to upload few documents and that's it. One more advantage with the Monzo Bank is that you'll get an instant notification with the amount deducted and also the location where you use which is really helpful. Sterling Bank is another alternative suggestion which does the same job as Monzo. Now let's talk about few features which you'll find new here. So the first one is contactless feature. It's also there in India but here in the UK it's very basic. How it works is uh, instead of paying with your card and typing the pin you just have to tap it on the device. That's it. However, there is a transaction limit for it. The maximum you can pay through contactless is currently £45. Apple and Google Pay. We all know about Google Pay in India, but here in the UK, Apple Pay and Google Pay work entirely different. You first need to add your debit or credit card to your Apple or Google Pay, and then you can use your smartphone as a contactless debit card or credit card. The best thing is you don't have any limit on this. It's just like using your card, but you know, 
in a digital way. Obviously, guys, this is the best feature. After coming here, I just don't carry my cards at all because it's so convenient to, you know, carry your phone because you never forget your phone. That's it, guys. I hope this video is really helpful for you. Uh, if yes, please like it and comment below if you want more of these kind of vlogs. Yeah, see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram.